Are you ready for game day? If you're still planning your menu for Monday Friday night's lights, we've got the perfect thing. We're being joined by the mind behind the blog Random Sweets, Stacy Perry Mergenthal. And she's here to show us how she gets ready for game day with smoked meats and smoked crackers that are so good you'll be yelling touchdown even if your team doesn't come with away with the W. Welcome Stacy. Hello. Uh, there's nothing that can't go with meat and cheese and crackers, meat, right? Meat, cheese and crackers, great snack. Mhm. Mm Whether you just want the crackers, just the meat or just the cheese, I feel like you can't go wrong by offering this option when you're tailgating or just watching a game at your house. Yep, I agree with that. But now we've kind of upped our game by smoking the crackers and the cheese. And uh, it's super simple and you don't even need a smoker. We have both, a grill and a smoker, so depending on what we're doing, but if but you, you just have, have a grill, you can still smoke crackers or smoke cheese, summer sausage, whatever you want. Well, let's get into it because I want to learn how to do this. I don't have a smoker, but I do have a grill, so okay. it looks like I can make this work at my house. Absolutely. So if you're using a smoker, um, you're going to be able to do crackers and cheese. But when you smoke cheese, the biggest thing is that you don't actually turn any heat on. I was going to say, isn't it going to melt? <laughs> right. Now, I think some, some of the um, smokers come with recipes for using ice and things like that to be able to smoke the cheese with heat, but we just don't use any heat. So. Okay. Um, let's see, we can talk about crackers first. Yes. And yeah. I just get aluminum tins that can be thrown away. So depending on how much crackers you're using, we typically have a little bit bigger tins. And we just dump in like our Cheez-Its because we do 48 ounces, so it's a lot. And we mix different flavors of the Cheez-Its. We put some of the spicy ones in there. And we just put in a big aluminum pan and uh, we mix up our olive oil, liquid smoke, garlic powder, and then you pour that over and I just use kind of a big wooden spoon and stir it all up, set it on the smoker that is heated okay. or the grill that is heated. And then um, you're gonna smoke about three, three to four hours stirring every 30 minutes. The heat's gonna be at about 175, 200 on the smoker or the grill. The thing is, is that you'll have your pellets going in the smoker, but if you have a grill, this is where these smoke tubes come in handy. Okay. So you can buy these at any place that has um, smoker smokers that sell smokers or probably grills. And you just buy these pellets. They're just these little, little things that you fill. That you would use in a smoker normally, but right. you can use it for the Right, and grill. so you're just going to dump them in the tube, and this is adjustable. If it's shorter, you get a couple hours. The longer you do, it just sort of burns down and smolders, but it doesn't put a lot of heat. So this is what you're going to put these in here, put this on your grill, light it. And fill it all the way up for the length that you're using? Yep, yep. yep. And then it, it's just going to smolder for those couple hours, and you usually have it, you know, on the grill next to your crackers or your cheese and it just starts to filter the smoke. Now you're going to do the exact same thing with the cheese only you're not going to have heat on. Right so you probably can't do it at the exact same time then if there's not if you want right. the heat. Right no no okay. nope so this weekend we did a whole bunch of crackers on our smoker and then on the grill we just cold grill it you just open it up you light your your um, tube and then I just use a cooling rack this rack just sets on my grill with my block of cheese and then the smoke just permeates in there for a few hours same with the summer sausage I mm -hmm. just have the summer sausage around by the cheese oh my gosh interesting so does it really change the flavor when you smoke it when it comes to the cheese and the meat it does it does so much so that we have we've eaten smoked cheese at crackers or crackers in general smoked for a couple years now and eating plain ones are just like eh. <laughs> they're yeah, plain because now because you're like we, we want the flavor because the smoke adds so much flavor to it and you add liquid smoke in too right? i do add a little bit of liquid smoke okay. when i do the olive oil and the seasoning but you can use any seasoning you want so if you want to add tabasco sauce if you want to add like cayenne spicy. or any kind of a seasoning if your crackers are already flavored, you may maybe don't add any seasoning. You just do the olive oil and the liquid smoke. Okay. So what are some different seasoning concoctions that you've come up with? Let's talk about these saltine crackers right here. So the saltine crackers uh, and the Cheez-Its, what I have on there is liquid smoke and garlic powder. That's all that I have on those. The chicken in a biscuit, because they have that chicken flavor and there's already kind of a garlic I didn't add any extra seasoning to that because to me it'd be overpowering. I really just want to taste the cracker right. and the smoke. Right, so you can yeah. switch it up. And can you really use any type of cracker you want? You can, and I even did some gluten-free yeah, crackers. Yeah, I see that right here. Right, and the gluten-free crackers, they work as well too. 
Um, I mean, you could do croutons and smoke croutons and put those on your salad. Oh, croutons, um, I didn't even think of that. And then, and then think too of the crackers, more than just eating them as a cheese and cracker appetizer, uh, put these in your chicken noodle soup. So you oh, have smoked yeah. crackers in your chicken noodle soup or smoke the oyster crackers. So if you make them, you can just store them in a bag or wherever you want oh, yeah. and then they'll stay with that flavor. Right, so really, this is really important. When you're done smoking them, you want to put them like in a big sealed bag or a container. Refrigerate them for at least three days. Before you even eat Refrigerate them? Refrigerate them for at least three days because that really helps that smoke get into the crackers. And it's hard sometimes because you want to eat them right away, but try to try to make them ahead. So if you're going to have a party on the weekend, the weekend prior to that, make these, put them in your refrigerator and let them sit until the next weekend. And then if you don't eat them all at the party that you're having and you have leftover, do you want to put them back in the fridge? No, you don't okay. need to put them back in the refrigerator. Then you're just storing them like you normally would. Okay, I got to try this. And then this meat was smoked too, the right? The meat was smoked, yep, yep. And that was the first time we did the summer sausage and we really liked it. So now that's going to ruin the summer sausage for us too. We're always going to want it smoked. Mm -hmm. That is good so though. The, the most time consuming part is just making sure that, you know, I just set an alarm on my phone and every 30 minutes I go out and stir them with the, the big spoon and make sure that they stay toasted because the crackers are going to toast a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cheese you can just leave alone if you want to flip it halfway through so that it's kind of, you know, close to the smoke or move the smoke tube. You could do that. This is really, really good. Yeah. Now I'm not going to want to eat it unless it's smoked. Right. I'm going to have to hop on this trend. <laughs> it is so good. And like you said, if you just make it the weekend before, you can continuously just kind of be making it the weekend before, and then you'll never run mm -hmm. out, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And you don't want to do it when it's really hot outside, so the middle of the summer when it's 90, 100 degrees, you don't want to be doing the cheese. Crackers, of course, yes, but anything that you're not going to turn your grill or your smoker on, if you're doing the smoked meats or the smoked cheese, you don't want it sitting out there for two hours in like 100-degree right. heat. It'll melt. It, it'll melt and, and that's not good, um, you know, either for sitting out like that. So. Right. Well, this is delicious. So thank you so much for coming in today and teaching us how to make it. I want everybody to smoke their crackers. Yes, I think <laughs> it's a great idea.